Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing from the Charlestown Races and Slots Casino, Charlestown, West Virginia on Wednesday evening, February the 22nd, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 6 tonight, folks, 9.34 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 6.5 for a long sprint on the dirt track, fillies and mares, 4 years old and up, race for an allowance prize of some... $28,000. Contenders number six, Buckled Benny Babe. Number three, Northern Miss. Number two, Distant Kane. And number four, Platine. Number six, Buckled Bunny Babe takes a class drop of five units this evening. The overall speed leader in this allowance field, sprinting at tonight's distance to six and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in five straight starts with three of those efforts, including a pair of wins, also qualifying as power runs. Number three, Northern Miss, is excellent early speed abilities to complement for this sprint, has hit the board in power run fashion in three straight, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her last two adventures. Race six summary, number six, Buckle Betty Babe, tops the contenders list, which also includes number three, Northern Miss, number two, Distant Kane, and number four, Platine, 6324 in the sixth from Chucktown. Bonus long shots. Let's stay right here at Charlestown. Race four, number nine, Wild Saint. Five to one on the morning line. Qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony. It's the overall speed leader in this claiming field. Sprinting at or about tonight's distance of six and a half for lungs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five starts, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Tampa Bay Downs, Oldsmar, Florida, race five, the eight to one shot, number one Seaside, takes a three level track master class drop, is the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, sprinting at five furlongs on the dirt. So from Charlestown on a Wednesday, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.